I think we just witnessed one of the greatest victories in UFC history. What's up, folks? Fred Rachani, TSC, your home for MMA news updates, interviews, and everything in between. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're a little bit away from our live recap of the whole UFC 232 pay-per-view, but we just witnessed Amanda Nunes finally dethroning Chris Cyborg. Chris Cyborg, the same Chris Cyborg who's been undefeated for a decade. The same Chris Cyborg who has waxed the competition in Strike Force and in Victa and in the UFC up to this point. Amanda Nunez, the reigning bantamweight champion of the world. Chris Cyborg was defending her featherweight championship and all it took was 51 seconds into round number one to change the entire narrative of women's MMA history. Cyborg wins this fight, whether it be by decision, by submission, by knockout, by TKO, Dr. Stoppage, whatever. She cements her legacy as the GOAT, the greatest of all time in women's MMA, and one of the best MMA fighters ever. Now, I think she still belongs on the list of best MMA fighters ever, but there's always been kind of an asterisk, right? Not a lot of female featherweights. The fact that she failed a drug test years back in Strike Force. The fact that, you know, she didn't want to cut down and fight Ronda Rousey. Although, to be fair to her, I mean, I don't, I don't know if she could cut down to 135. Either way, this was a legacy fight for her. Whereas Amanda Nunez, she already beat Shevchenko. She retired Rousey. She retired Tate. She's defended her belt multiple times. She's had these crazy knockout moments in Strike Force and the UFC. I don't, I don't want to say she had nothing to lose here, but... You know, compared to Cyborg, in terms of legacy, she shouldn't have much. And in 51 seconds, via knockout, during this wild, insane exchange, where I gotta say, Chris Cyborg has a damn chin. It took a lot to put her down. But at the end of those 51 seconds, it was Cyborg down on the ground. It was Amanda Nunes and the crowd going crazy. And we have ourselves a new UFC women's featherweight champion. And other end, Conor McGregor and Daniel Cormier. Amanda Nunes can say she is the only champ champ amongst the women. And it is just an incredible accomplishment. What an incredible performance. She is the greatest female fighter of all time. And when you look at who she's beaten, and when you look at how she's made Rousey look, Tate look, Cyborg look, okay? We could say, okay, maybe Tate was at the end of her career, nervous, her first main event, blah, blah, blah. We could say, okay, Rousey was out of the cage for a year. Oh, well, she lost her chin or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is a prime active Cyborg. I believe this is Cyborg's third fight this year. Okay, so because so it's not like Cyborg's coming off of a long layoff. It's not like she didn't have the advantage. Okay, there's no excuses here. Amanda had to come up to fight Cyborg. She had to come up and she got the job done. So congratulations to Amanda Nunez. I have no idea who the hell's next for her. Personally, I want to see a rematch. I really want to see a rematch because I think Cyborg would fight a smarter fight. And... Who knows? Maybe Amanda would win again. But, I mean, when you've been undefeated for a decade and you lose like that, whew, I think I would like to see a rematch. But who knows? Maybe it's Megan Anderson. We'll see what happens. But, folks, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this epic performance by Manny Nunez? What do you think about UFC 232 so far? Tune in. Let us know. Leave a comment below. Tweet us. Facebook us. Do what you got to do. I'm going to go watch Jones versus Gustafson because, man... We could have another upset on our hands. Until next time, everybody, take care, like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, enjoy the fights.